What's up, YouTube? Back at it again. Today we got us a beef pot roast. We're gonna uh, make it up with a little creamy mushroom soup, uh, brown gravy. I'm gonna add that in once I pull some of the grease off. It wasn't halfway cooked, so I'm just gonna go ahead and season it with some onion powder. Garlic powder, garlic powder. I always get the garlic powder because the garlic salt gets really salty. I'm gonna use some accent for seasoning enhancement. Mm -hmm. Ground black pepper. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over on the other side. Get a little boom. So today I also, one guy mentioned to come in, hey, don't wash off beef. So, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with it, try it out. I have heard it from a lot of people, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see. I mean, they do clean it. See if I'm washing off anything, good taste or something, we'll find out. Black pepper. Gonna grab some onions, chop them up. Red peppers, yellow peppers. We are in that big dog. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna add me some green bell peppers, a whole one. Uh, I have some red pepper over there, yellow pepper. I'm uh, you know, trying to get it a little presentation. I'm trying to dress it up a little more. Work on presentation. I know it's been a little, excuse, that's my dishwasher here in the back. If you can hear it. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover it with you know the green peppers, onions, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just let it ride like that. We go cover it up a little full. Turn my oven on 375, hit bake. 375, let it preheat, then I'm gonna stick it on in the oven. Let's go ahead and uh, check on this roast. Go be some good eating. I'm gonna go ahead and drain some of this grease off. Add my cream and mushroom. Mix that up. Let's take this foil over, we'll see how it's kind of long. Yeah, we're gonna pour off some of the juices. See, I got it on 400 right now. I'm gonna go ahead and bump it down to 325. I got it nice where I wanted it. So I'm just pull off all these juices. It'll make more. No worries. Okay. Got the cream mushroom soup. Gonna pour that on in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get all that out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in this can, fill it up. You know what I'm saying? Add some water to it. You wanna use about a cup of water for your brown gravy with the two packs. Uh, I usually just eyeball it. But you know, you can measure it out. The reason why I don't only do one cup because you don't want it too watery. You want your gravy kind of thick. Even though the pack says for each pack, one cold cup of cold, cold water. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there. Oh, don't pour the can in there. I'm gonna add my gravy mix. Add a little pepper. Little accent. Then we're gonna whisk it on down. Let's 
See how it's nice, thick, and creamy. You know the dilute some once you once it cook on down. And some more juice come out there, nice juicy roast. I got the roast with the bone in it. But you don't necessarily have to have that. Sometimes you can't find them. I want to get all the, you know, want to, no flour left in there. The lumps are just the mushrooms. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it over. You know, nice like that over the ropes. So I cover it back over the floor. Put it back in the oven for about another hour and a half. 325. Hey, you'll see how it's gonna come up. Okay, go ahead and take the rolls out. See what we got. A little hot. See a little steam. What you guys think? Looks pretty good to me. See how I got all the grease rid of it. See my grill is nice and you know thick. You can see it's been about an hour. Just gonna I was making sure it was covered with gravy. So I'm gonna put it in about another 30, 40, 30, 45 minutes and let it cook. Yeah, see, look at the gravy, nice and thick. You can sop that with some biscuits, anything you, you know, you prefer, rolls, cornbread. Okay, let's put it back on in. All right, let me cut my oven off. No, it's pretty much well done. Mm. Last yeah. got a little fogged up. Go ahead and take it out. I can just smell it. Check it out. Look at them peppers and onions. I'll show you how tender it is. Just watch this and pick it up. Straight like that. And I can just turn the meat off. Mm, look at that. But I'm going to let it rest for a while. About 30 minutes before I start cutting into it so the meat can get, you know. All right, hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Valentine's video coming. Hey, and we still go do that giveaway. Hey, once we hit that thousand subs, subscribe, we'll do that giveaway. Peace out.